Hey, if it's revenge you want, take it. Go ahead. Disqualify me. Banish me. Do whatever you want, but do it to me. It was me who let you down, Kurt. It wasn't my guys. They've done everything you asked of them, and they did it with you all laughing in their face. Hey, it doesn't matter tomorrow if they come in first or 50th. Those guys have earned the right to walk into that stadium and wave their nation's flag. That's the single greatest honor an athlete can ever have. That's what the Olympics are all about. 16 years ago, I forgot that. Don't you go and do the same. Hello, folks. This is NYC Actors Talk Film, a podcast where we go through actors' filmography and most prolific work. I'm Nick. And I'm Hunter. And this is our last episode of NYC Actors Talk. John Candy? That was a good impression. I like that. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Uh, oh <laughs> sounds exactly like him. That's pretty uh, good. This is our last episode, uh, and we're talking about Cool Runnings. Uh, this is one of his last movies. Uh, this movie came out in 1991? Uh, I want to say 1993. 19... Yeah, 1993. 93. Yeah, 93. You're right. You're right. For the first time in your life, Hunter, you're right. <laughs> I'm right. And I was, what were you right about? The year the Cool Runnings came out? <laughs> uh, the year it came out? The <laughs> uh, year Cool Runnings came out? But yeah, this is his la the last movie that came out when he was alive, too, that's, right? That's right. Right before uh, his heart attack, uh, he uh, that this was his last movie. This wasn't his last movie that was released. I think that was what was that one? The uh, 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 cowboy movie, Wagons East. Wagons East was his last movie, uh, where he infamously died on set while they were filming it. Uh, but yeah, Cool Runnings is. Uh, the last major movie of his career. Yeah, and this is your first time seeing it. Yeah, this is my first time seeing it. Uh, it, it was, um, it was Uncle Buck. It was uh, Only the Lonely, and this. These these three were the ones I haven't seen before uh, doing this miniseries. Mm. And Splash. I almost forgot Splash, <laughs> but. Uh, you, you, you know why I forget Splash, because yeah, uh, could... it's a, it's a fucking monstrosity. <laughs> it's a fucking disaster that I don't want to remember. <laughs> I don't want to remember that. I don't want to remember that. Damn, the, the salt right there. It's a fucking monstrosity. It's the worst <laughs> movie I've ever fucking seen. It's the worst movie I've ever seen. <laughs> I, I, not, not really, but, uh, but yeah, I try to forget that movie um so but yeah those are those are the movies i haven't seen before doing this so uh, i was very curious especially for like this one just because this was like in the, in the later era of his career hmm. um you grew up with this movie i did i while watching this movie <laughs> i was i was eight years old again it was one of those movies where i was like oh like i forget some of the stuff that happens but oh my gosh it was like it was amazing uh, coming back to this movie. Um, but yeah, all of the other ones, though, that we have reviewed on our John Candy miniseries, I haven't seen. So this is the only one that I that I have seen before. Interesting. Uh, so, uh, yeah, 93. Uh, Disney movie. Ba -da 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 -da. I miss that. I miss that, that, uh, that logo. I miss the music. It, it took me back. Right? <laughs> I forgot it was a Disney movie. And, like, I looked it up and I was like, oh, it's it's going to be on Disney Plus. Look at that. Easy. Easy. Also, a tangent a little bit, but, like, especially recently, like, I, I watched a movie on Netflix re recently. And I watched this movie very recently uh, on Disney Plus. Uh, yeah, Disney Plus is objectively a better streaming service because, like... Just watching Cool Runnings, the quality was like, like just like the the way like it, it's presented is like a million times better than watching like any Netflix movie, new or old, and it's like, I, I don't know, I don't know like why that is, but like Netflix has got to step it up because like I was watching this recent movie uh, on there and it's like kind of like fuzzy and a little like oh where are some of the pixels are not there like it doesn't feel like HD. 
you know? But, like, watching Cool Runnings on Disney+, Plus, it felt like the most HD movie I've ever seen. Like, it was, like... <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? Like, have, did you ever, have you noticed that? Um, not in quality, but I, I will say just the, the, the just platform. Just like the picture, itself. picture quality, you know? Picture quality. Yeah, and also the platform itself is like, it has a lot more, I don't know, the way that it's set up, it's very easy to scroll through. And like, I've noticed that Disney Plus has a lot of great old movies. Yeah, like yeah. E even like not just like family movies too like they have a bunch of thriller movies and like mm -hmm. it's like i mean you can turn on parental guidance or whatever but like without that on it's like oh my gosh i can watch so much you know? yeah i mean when, when it comes to like variety netflix has it over disney but like when it comes to just like oh going back to like old stuff and like because nostalgia whether you like it or not is a very powerful tool you know for mm -hmm. a stream for a streaming service so you know like it, it has that over netflix too like yeah it was something i noticed i was like yeah the picture quality is a lot better on disney plus and uh i don't know why uh but i also i do because it's disney and it's you know it, it, it's a streaming service run by the most popular company of all time uh mm -hmm. so you know i i totally get it yeah yeah also i think that in a few years this is my prediction that the quality like of stuff on Disney Plus is going to surpass Netflix, I think, because Netflix right now is coming out with a lot of, like, Netflix original stuff that is, like, I don't know, it's kind of becoming its own, like, little genre. Like, oh, the Netflix original movie, it's, like, the remake of He's All That and stuff Right, like, like that, crap. You know? Like, yeah. crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, crap. Like, Kissing Booth <laughs> 3. Right, Kissing Booth 3, the greatest cinematic achievement of all time. Oh, yeah. Uh, they play they play Mario Kart in that movie, like not not play the video game. They are in little go karts and they dressed up as Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach. They did that in the movie. I I know you don't believe me, but they did that. It's, uh, uh, <laughs> that's my response. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just driving that's around. That's terrible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway, yeah, so cool yeah, uh, cool runnings, cool runnings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, uh, yeah, what else is there to say? I mean, this was a pretty popular movie uh, for the time. Um, you know, I, uh, I, I've heard, I've definitely heard of it before. You know, mm -hmm. it's not like I, I was like, what is this movie? Like, you know, like so. I, I think when it comes to just like, you know, just like historically, you know, you know, there's a lot of. Uh, representation in the movie uh, uh, from uh, black people um, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it's a Disney movie so you know that was a big thing too uh, uh, and yeah it, it, like people are like yeah cheesy but like you know it's a well-liked uh, movie and everything so mm -hmm. uh, I, yeah I was very curious to watch this so yeah, so as someone who has watched this movie before uh, what are what are your thoughts and feelings on it now that you have revisited it yeah um i i remember i, I was talking to you about dear evan hansen because we both watched that yeah. um and what you said is that it's hard to have an objective um feeling about it because you love the show so much right so i feel the same about this i don't know if i could ever say that i didn't like this movie i love this movie i loved it back then i love it now it makes me feel good. It makes me feel that anything is possible. <laughs> and it, it's just like how you say it's it's cheesy, but it, it works, you know, like with the um, uh, Sokka or no, Sasuke, I think his name is, where like he kisses like the lucky egg and stuff like that. It's just everything just works, I think, in this movie. And yeah, I love it. I loved it then. I love it still. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, I, I've never seen this before, and I don't know if I liked it. I I, I I'm sorry, Hunter. Uh, <laughs> um, I I don't like hate it. It's not like offensive. It's not like something I can even really like draw on why I don't like it. I just didn't really feel it all that much. And that's really it, you know, there's, there's no, like, huge explanation why. I just, uh, you know, like, it's it's cute. It's, uh, once again, very, um, 
inoffensive. It's very it's very Disney in that way, mm. where it's just like you know, very baseline. Just like you know, it it just wants to make you happy, just wants to make you feel good. Also, uh, the score was done by Hans Zimmer. Hello, <laughs> hello, hello, <laughs> Hans Zimmer. <laughs> Great score, though. I mean, like yeah. you know, I I do appreciate the score in this. It sounds good, mm -hmm. and uh, I was. It must have been one of his first movie scores, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. The score is good. The soundtrack is fun as well. Yeah, the soundtrack's fun. It's very '90s or, yeah. or very late '80s, early '90s. But mm -hmm. uh, but you know, I I think like you know the the most interesting thing about the movie is that like yeah, it, it it's it it takes all these like characters you know like like it's just normal you know like yeah we're just following and you know what i mean like jamaican you know people on the island just like living their lives you know and it's, there's a community of people you know helping each other out and everything so like on that front great but also like and we'll i think get into it more but i i think it does like the baseline of like what you can do with a movie like this where it's mm -hmm. like ooh, like it's interesting like jamaican bobsled like black people like you know, uh, in the Olympics, you know, uh, at, at that time and everything, you know, doing a sport that, you know, isn't usually what they do, you know, or, or it's a sport that they usually don't do and, and everything. So I, th I think that's an interesting premise that I really personally don't think they really delved into all that much. Uh, or if they did, it was like very like basic and it was very mm. just like, you know, believe in yourself kind of thing, which, and look, that, just a, just a preface. Mm. Uh, 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 we're, we are both very white people, very, very <laughs> white, the whitest we know. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, so if, if, you know, I, I, I just want to, you know, preface that, that like, you know, whatever opinions we have, you know, that, that's just like kind of our lens, you know, just like, you know, maybe, you know, maybe it's great representation, you know, maybe, you know, like other people love, you know, how they're represented here and everything like that. And that's great. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I just more believe that probably not. <laughs> really? Um, yeah. I mean like not once again, not to say like it's offensive or anything, but it, it's a movie written by white people. You know, mm. I, I'm pretty sure it's directed by a white person too. If I'm not. It is. Yeah. Um, the, so like, John, you know, John I, I, I doubt it's like a, 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 a good accurate representation. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Once again, not an offensive one. But I, I think it once again bare minimum, and I, and on that front I was disappointed. But I also ex didn't expect it to like be this like really like revolutionary like thing. Once again, back then I'm sure it was, you know, like and that and that's great, you know, like that's great that that was a good like kind of stepping stone. But now we've seen all these movies now that really delve deep into the black experience, and mm -hmm. this one, directed by a white person, written by white people, it just doesn't really ring true to me. And that's, you know, that's whatever. It's a Disney movie. It's fine. But like, you know. Yeah. I mean, I think that uh, it's being a Disney movie too. It, and like, I don't think it's because I read that the original script, what like kind of did that. It was more um, of a drama film mm -hmm. and somewhere along the line it, it changed and they didn't uh, necessarily want to do that. I guess. And so it would have been interesting to see like this movie being like made today in like a, a drama setting. But for what it is, I, I, I think that it's like, I don't know. I, I don't think that it's trying to take itself like that seriously. You know what I mean? There are some serious elements with um, uh, like one of the characters and his father, like not wanting him to do this. And then, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but I think that for what it is, it's like, it's just trying to be kind of fun. You yeah, know? totally fair. I mean, totally fair. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly what it, it's trying to do. Like, it's not mm -hmm. trying to be this drama. I'm not even saying it has to be, like, really dramatic. I just wish maybe they delve deeper into all that stuff, which, mm -hmm. you know, nowadays I think they would, you know. I think now it's more socially acceptable to be like, yeah, these are black people, you know, and, and what does that mean to, like, you know, be doing this at that time and everything like that mm. in, a, in a more nuanced way. While this one, I think it was more like, you know, I don't, I don't want to harp on it too much, but, but you know, it's just like, 
Oh, they're like a little racist, but they're not that racist, and they'll clap at the end for you. It's fine. It's, they just, they're not really racist in that way. They're more just like, they don't believe in you. And it's like, look, there, there could have been more there. It, it's, once again, very baseline, just like, oh, you know, once again, it's very 90s, so like, you know, it's of the time, I get it. But like, you know, I, I, it's, it's very basic in that way where it's just like, yeah, they'll, like these Russians and and like these uh, you know higher ups at, at, from the from the Olympics, you know they're they're more just like misunderstood, you know they're they're they're, they're not like you know uh, there's not like a real conflict when it comes to just like yeah we don't want these uh, these people here uh, 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 at the Olympics, you know like we're gonna change the rules for them because of that and you know and they do and everything like that, but yeah the, there's just like a a, a shade to it, to the story that I, I, I def definitely wanted in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I will say when I was reading all, uh, all of the facts about the film, uh, I was, I always get disappointed whenever I read anything about like, Oh, cause this, this really happened. This is a true, right. Yeah. yeah. Story. It's based on a true story. And I always get disappointed when I read that something like didn't happen exactly uh, how it is in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and I guess not disappointed. I mean, this is, this is a good thing that it didn't happen uh, this way, but apparently like the, all the stuff with the like Olympic committee changing the rules and stuff like that, that was just like put in the movie to make conflict. And apparently like it was kind of, they were more um, welcome than they're portrayed in the movie. I'm sure there was stuff like that. Like obviously there would be, right, right. Um, but I was, I was like, Oh wow. That's crazy that they were like, I don't know. You'd think that there would be a lot of pushback and you know tension. what I mean? It's yeah, a lot of a lot of yeah, tension. tension, a lot of tension. Yeah, um, and there, there's a lot of stuff um, that I read about it that it didn't happen exactly the way, and I was Which like, is, "Well, that is fine." You know, it's, once again, it's a Disney movie. Yes. You know, <laughs> uh, I uh, I was surprised though with like some of the the swearing in it. I was like, "Oh, this must be PG," because they say like ass, they say like whore. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, would a Disney movie ever say the word whore ever again? No. I don't, I don't even think so. I think now they would never say whore. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure if they did, it would be PG-13, not PG. They would be like, whoa, whoa, PG-13. Jeez Louise. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, I'm getting a little sweaty here. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm, surpri I, I'm surprised I watched this at like 8. <laughs> like... <laughs> my parents threw it on here here's cool runnings it's a great movie i'm eight years old whore <laughs> what hey hey dad what's that <laughs> you just start screaming it whore whore <laughs> but yeah let's get into uh kind of the story and the characters and everything hmm. so uh yeah so we follow uh oh fun fact by the way denzel washington turned down the role of Doris. Doris, is it Doris? is that how you yeah. pronounce it um, and Eddie Murphy turned down the role of Sanka. Oh, I do you want to hear the 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 cast that Disney wanted to mm. have in this movie? Mm. So as you said, Eddie Murphy is Doris. Um, uh, no, or, sorry, uh, Denzel, Denzel Washington is Doris. Yeah, Denzel Washington is Doris. Eddie Murphy is Sanka. Wesley Snipes as the Yule Brenner character. Uh, Marlon Wayans is Junior, and then obviously John Candy. Is that Brenner. is a that would have been a stacked cast. Stacked. And I, I actually, before we get into the story, I actually wanted to ask you, what do you, do you think that that would have been better? Like made the, like that stacked cast making the movie better? Or do you think that it might've taken away from it? I don't know. It's hard to tell because I think my main issue with the movie in general is that they're actually not that much of the focus of the movie. Mm. The, or, or at least, you know, just watching it for the first time. I, you know, obviously they have their scenes and they obviously have their moments and everything, but it's almost, it almost feels like they're side characters in their own movie, if that makes sense. Once again, it's like representation, but, Interesting. you know, John Candy has a lot of scenes, you know, it's like, sure, it's a movie about them, but are they always in it? I don't know. I, that, that's maybe my main issue with the movie in general, with the way it's, it's plotted and everything. Once again, not to say they don't have any scenes 
or any substantial moments. But it always feels like they're like a little bit too sidelined. Where it's like, oh, let's cut back to the wacky shenanigans and then go back to like John Candy talking about, you know, talking to the other to the other you know people there in the mm-hmm. uh, at the Olympics. So I don't know. Once again, it's like a it's like a tricky like line where it's like, yeah, it's once again like representing these people and 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 showing their lives and everything, but it's always like it's always like uh, at a distance, if that makes sense. Interesting. See, I I. I see what you mean with the other characters, but I minus uh, Doris, minus the main guy, because I I think we we see a lot of of him and like kind of what he's going through and how. Um, I mean, y- yes, I if made today, it would be shown like heavily. Um, but I I think we we get enough of. Um, like what he's going through and how he wants to be like an Olympic an Olympian uh, so bad. And like he starts co- uh, um, copying the, the Swiss and how he's like, Oh, like this is what makes you great. Like, I just want to be great. You know what I mean? And then it's like, Oh no, no, no. You don't have to copy. You don't have to be like them. We can be like uh Sanka. One of like, I think my favorite moments is when he's like, if I like walk Jamaican, I talk Jamaican, like I am Jamaican, we can do this Jamaica, you know, like we can do it who we are. And that's, that's good enough. And, that's and so, a, and I think that's a great message, excuse me. And I, I'm, I'm sorry, John Candy's coming out a little bit. And I think that's a great <laughs> message, but uh, <laughs> uh, no, it's a great message and everything. I just, it, I, I just think it, it doesn't really, I feel like it comes out of nowhere a little bit. I, 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 once again, I like the message, of course. Like, it's a very powerful message. Like, no, just you can just be yourself, like, in your own country, you know, like, in your own nationality, and that's more than enough. But I, I feel like if maybe they focused on that more, that would have been, like, an earned moment for me at the end. Because it's basically just shenanigans, and then they talk about, hey, maybe don't do, like, Swiss, like, uh, 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 I don't know remarks or or like what 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 do they do like they like before they uh, oh the before the they count, slide the countdown the ein fine join right yeah. yeah and he's like coming in slapping their heads and they're like what the hell are you doing it's like that's what the Swiss do to psych themselves up <laughs> <laughs> but like I think if maybe they focused on that more especially with uh, Doris like you know like no 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 we got to do it that way like we can't do it our way it's not enough um, I I. You know, I, I think maybe if they heavily set that up more, I think maybe that payoff could have that payoff might have worked better for me. Interesting, yeah, because I I think all we get from that, which is, I will say, it's probably my favorite shot in the movie. It's beautiful, is when um, Dries goes down and he watches the the Swiss practice, and it's like all and it's nighttime. I think that's what that's all we get from that, and then he's like. Oh, like we gotta do it this way. Like these guys are so good, but I I do agree. If there was a a, a little bit more focus on that, then yeah, and we focus more on like maybe his insecurity uh, mm-hmm. of like you know trying to prove himself. Like I okay, I want to prove myself, but I can't do it the mm-hmm. way I want to, or or I can't do it the Jamaican way. You know that uh, you know, or, and he has to learn that yes, it is more than enough to to do it his way, the Jamaican way. And I, so I, I, yeah, I think like being that arc of maybe being more confident in himself and everything, I think that that could have really worked. But I, yeah, I just don't think it's quite there. I don't think that it's really, doesn't really exist in my opinion. I, uh, yeah, so let's, let's just run through very quickly, you know, just like, yeah, so uh, we have Doris and he's like a, a runner. He wants to be in the Olympics. He's in Jamaica, you know, um, in this charming village, you know, uh, on an island in Jamaica, and you know he's he's uh, he's practicing for for the run today, like for for the Olympic tryouts, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and it's like, oh, only four people can uh, uh, pass, you know, to to get into the Olympics and represent Jamaica. Uh, so like, you know, yeah, he's preparing, he's about to run, and then like the, the this other guy's there, and he trips on him, and this other guy. They all fall down, and so he doesn't make it. And it's, like, devastating. What is he going to do now? He really wants to be in the Olympics. Uh, and and uh, so, he, he, you know, he's talking to... Is it his dad, or is it just, like... Uh, 
Uh, no, it's not his dad. It's um, because uh, his dad was uh, also a sprinter right. that went to the Olympics. Um, right. he's talking to like basically the guy that runs the funding for um the Olympics for Jamaica, and he's like, oh, like we gotta do, we gotta run that back. We gotta do the race again. Um, it's not fair. And then he's like, well, life is rarely fair or whatever. Um, and then he sees a photo or whatever. I think that's how it happens. And um like start talking about this guy that wanted his dad to um, become a bobsledder. Um, Cause like apparently John Candy's character, like he's like, Oh, like sprinters make the best bobsledders, you know? <laughs> um, and so from there he goes and gets uh Zonka and is like, Oh, come on, man. We gotta, we gotta do this. You gotta be my right hand man with this one. Takes some convincing. And then they go and meet John Candy who we see for the first time. And then, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, by the way, do, uh, do you think it's a funny movie? Do I think it's funny? Yeah. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> no, I'm just curious. No, I, I, wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to be, like, confrontational. I was just curious if you thought it was funny. I do, yeah. I, la yeah. I laugh. Yeah. I don't know if I laughed at all. I, would, I don't know. Once again, the, I watched this last night. It was late. So, like, I, maybe I, I would have laughed a little bit more if I was like watching it maybe earlier with other people and everything. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, I don't know if I really laughed at all. I mean, like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's get into John Candy. Uh, uh, so I, it's a fine performance. I, I don't dislike his performance by any means. He actually probably has the best acting in the movie, uh, and and everything. But yeah, I, I, I think you know he's playing. You know, he starts off as like. Yeah, they're, they're trying to find him because, like, he worked with his father years ago, right? Um, and so, so he was this great, like, coach. They won two Olympic medals. He's this great guy, and we cut to him, and he's, like, you know, disheveled, and he has a beard, and he's, like, drinking, or... No, he's not drinking. It's a Disney movie. Uh, he, you know, he's uh, weird. <laughs> well, he, he, he is at a bar, so I think it's... it's um, yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he has been drinking, yeah. Like, yeah, we just, yeah. We just don't see it. <laughs> he's, be he's betting on horses... Right, yeah, he's betting on horses, so, like, obviously, like, his life is a bit of a mess now, and we don't know why at first, but, yeah, like, uh, you know, yeah, he's, he's a bit nutty, um, you know, he's, he's very cynical now, but also, I don't know, I don't feel it, I, I, once again, I think he's, he's such a, John Candy was such a nice guy, and I feel like that kind of edge that the character needs and that kind of bite that it needs, I don't know if it was quite there. And once again, I I don't know if it's him. I don't know if it's the movie. All I know is that I I didn't quite feel like his kind of, I don't know, uh, what am I trying to say? Not grumbly. <laughs> grumbly is not the right work, uh, word. <laughs> grumpy? <laughs> uh, grumpy. <They're laughs> grumbly. His, uh, I don't know, grumbly. Uh... <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's the morning. All right, anyway, um, I, I you know, I didn't really... Uh, see that like his more like kind of uh, his grumpy personality like i didn't quite uh feel that i didn't see that in his personality as much as maybe i wanted to mm. um because yeah he's supposed to be just kind of like all right kid you know like we'll do this and then like he he gets a little nicer by the end and a little more understanding and you know whatever and and that's a fine arc but i i i guess i just didn't feel it in the moment and i and i thought you know john candy's doing fine I think, you know, he's doing good, you know, it, it, he's always been good, but yeah, I guess, uh, I wasn't like, Ooh, what a like character, you know, it was more just like, Oh, John Candy is here and he's talking to them and he's like, you can do it. You can do it. And it's like, all right. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, again, maybe it's because I, I grew up on this movie. This is literally like the first and only time I ever saw John Candy, except for when we were doing this mini series. Um, but I have to, I, with that preface, I have to disagree. I'm like, I, I totally, and maybe like, again, maybe it is because this is the first time. Well, well I explain thought. yourself then. Like what, 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 how do you, you know, how, yeah. How do you I feel just, about the character, you know, and his performance in it? I totally bought him as a coach, which I think is, a, is, is kind of a difficult role to, to do, you know, like uh, I think of like Kurt Russell and Miracle and like mm. Matthew McConaughey and We Are Marshall, like those guys pull it off very well. Right. And I put John Candy up there with like sports, like movie coaches. I 
I don't know. I just buy him in it. And I, we haven't seen him like this, you know, like, especially the first time we see him, he's got this like weird beard (laughs) and like, he's disheveled and he's like grumpy. He's like, I don't know. He's just a very beat up man at this point. And I, I really, I don't know the way that he did it. I bought it. And you bought it. Okay. Yeah. And, and especially like, going on like later in the movie it's like oh yeah like i i don't know i was trying to think of like early 90s who do i cast in this role i don't know i don't know anybody that could have like because again like it's not like he's the the comedy from this movie i mean he does have some like maybe kind of funny moments when like yeah he's he has a few like comedic beats and yeah but, comedic, comedic moments but mostly i think like him and uh leon who plays uh Doris, like kind of hold the the dramatic stuff a little bit and i think that i mean both of them i think do it pretty well for the for the movie for the t- like type of movie that they're that they're in i hear it yeah, yeah yeah because i think that's a very hard movie to be in it's not like it's a comedy but it also has drama you know what i mean i think that those are very hard to balance okay like oh do i do a comedic bit here or is it like you know what i mean mm-hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> no i'm just i'm just thinking i'm thinking yeah yeah I, I i just didn't see that i wish i did i mean not to say like he's not playing the shovel that he's not doing this stuff it's more just like i don't not to say i don't believe it but uh i'm more just like maybe maybe play it up more i don't know i don't know wh- how i i don't know why i didn't feel it or i didn't you know, I, I, I guess I felt a little disconnected with the performance, but mm. do you think like play, playing it safe a little bit or? Yeah, I think so. I think like, I think maybe I always wanted to see maybe a little bit more edge to him, you know, just in general. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I thought like, oh, this is a perfect opportunity for him to like really get like kind of mean almost not like, you know, so mean that like, you know, it's like, what is Unlikable. this movie? Like, like, or, or like, what is this movie? But mm-hmm. like, but more just like, yeah, like, I want to see, like, a little more edge to him, a little more bite to him. And I didn't quite feel it. He's doing good, though. And But, but yeah, I, I, I guess I just wanted more of that. So, like, when, when he's, like, you know, standing up for them at the end of the movie, for example, you know, you really feel that more. And, and yeah, so, so we're, we're, we're getting through the movie. Um, you know, uh, there, the, the, there's training montages that, you know, in Jamaica, they go, you know, it seems like they're ready. Uh, they, they, they get on a plane to Canada, uh, which is hilarious because John Candy is Canadian. So yeah. He's, he's probably just like, oh, I'm going home. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah. So like, you know, ba- like bad first impression, you know, they're, they're kind of messing up a bit. Uh, and I never really know why they're messing up, you know, like, are they messing up because they're nervous? Are they messing up because they can't work together as a team? Are they, are they messing up? I I just never quite know. And I don't know if the movie knows. I feel like it's just more of a like first act, like, oh, they got to mess up here and then they get better later. Yeah. I think, I think, um, it's nerves. I think it's. Also, the team thing where, like, oh, they're they're new to this sport, really. Right. And it's like, oh, I don't know, like, how do we act kind of thing. Like, how... I wish that... Maybe I wish they... Maybe I wish they delved into that more. Because Mm -hmm. that is a good idea. Like, a good nugget of of it uh, uh, there, like, to explore. But, yeah, I I don't know. I just didn't really, like, think it was going in that direction. And then it kind of does at the end, but like, I didn't feel like we started like getting there, you know? Interesting. Interesting. But, but yeah, anyway, I... so like, you know, the, uh, yeah, not great first impression. There's like the Russians, not the, the Germans, right? They're the assholes. Yes. Yep. Well, as always. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, the Germans are there making fun of him. Uh, uh and Doris and, and everyone They're they're like, Hey, you know, um, uh, Hey, uh, John Candy, you got any training wheels for that bobsled? <laughs> you know, just being stereotypical meanie, meanies, mm-hmm. uh, meanie bobinis. Uh, but uh, so, 
you know, they, uh, they, yeah, they get a sled. Uh, I'm trying to remember what happens before yeah, like, the, so... the bar scene, like before that happened, like before the bar stuff, like what happens before that? Oh God, before the bar stuff? Does anything? No. <laughs> does anything does happen anything... before the bar does stuff? Does anything happen? No, um, I think they're, uh, as you said, like the bad first impression. Um, John Candy meets up with like people that he knew, like his old coach from the Olympics, and uh, I think his old teammate. Um, and they're kind of like, what the hell are you doing here? Like, is this some sort of joke? Like you're like a Jamaican bobsled team. What the hell? And, um, then I think they get the sled, uh, John Candy meets up with like the, the USA guy. And he's like, we need a sled. And he's like, you came all the way here without a sled <laughs> and then gives them the sled. And then I think it cuts to the, the bar scene, them going out. Yeah. So they're, you know, the, uh, the square dancing. <laughs> they're uh, you know they're they're drinking they're having a good but not drinking too much uh it's disney uh <laughs> but uh uh but yeah so the, they get into a bar fight with the germans once again to me at least that scene was just like hijinks and once again you need hijinks in disney movies it's not like i'm against hijinks it's more just like i don't know the purpose necessarily i mean i guess uh, yeah, let's run through like the the main characters, the main team. So we have mm -hmm. Derice, right? Derice yeah. is the main guy. Uh, yeah, very driven, you know, very ambitious. And then we have the junior. A uh, junior. Yeah. Uh, who's what the 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 smaller guy? Yeah, he's the the young guy with the issues with his father, and he he's also the guy that uh, tripped everybody up at the Olympic trials to right. kind of make this happen. Yeah, he kind of ruined everything. Yeah, he ruined hate, he ruined all him. of their lives, and now <laughs> they're on a bobsled team. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, and then we have the tough Yule Brenner, right? Uh, who's named after the singer Yule Brenner? <laughs> uh, for some reason, I don't know why they they did that. Wow, uh, um, great great reference, guys. Yeah, I guess it's kind of it's. I mean, to me, it's funny because at eight years old, like I was like Yule Brenner, what's that? You know, so maybe yeah. Uh, <laughs> But he's he's tough. He's he's also um, very driven. Like we get that scene right, right. where he's like, "I'm gonna be here one day," and they're like, "Bro, that's Buckingham Palace. That's where the Queen lives." And then, oh, then Junior goes, "Go get your palace, man." Oh, <laughs> and then we got uh, Sanka, who's Sanka, yeah, the, who's, the who's, lucky basically egg. The, who's basically the comic relief uh, character, you know, the yeah. the silly character. Yeah, I didn't really. You know, find it funny. You didn't really, you know. There's this, there's this running joke where it's like, "Oh, are you dead, uh, Yaman?" Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, huh." And then <laughs> kissing the lucky egg. Yeah, that was cute. That was cute. And then uh, uh, my favorite line, and this is one of the lines that I remembered from when I was eight, where he's like, "Do you want me to draw a line down your face so it looks like a butt?" Bro, comedic genius, that line right there. I'm on the floor laughing. <laughs> So anyway, uh, uh, so, you know, yeah, after that bar fight, uh, they, yeah, they just keep getting better. You know, they're, they're, they're still training John Candy. Um, they have to, what, what is it? Get under a minute to, to qualify or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so they eventually do, but they're disqualified. And so it's like, huh, what happened? So John Candy, you know, goes up and talks to the guys, uh, the Olympic guys, and he has this speech which i i like the speech and i like uh like the way he delivers it um you know i'm not really feeling much of anything but i think it's like a a good moment for for john candy it's a good acting moment you know for him to like kind of shine in the movie and once again i i, I, I it's a bit of a, a jumbled bit of a bit of jumbled thoughts right now i, I i'm kind of all over place with my opinion right now just because i mm -hmm. just finished it but um you know i like yeah, we have these scenes with John Candy. We have the scenes with the team, and once again, I feel like the more substantial scenes are John Can the John Candy scenes, and and you know, but it, but not like substantial enough where I'm like, yeah, you know what I mean? Where I'm like, yes, John Candy so is great, and like I I don't really feel that. I just more feel like oh, John Candy's in this, and he's doing fine, and I I don't know, yeah, I I, I wish there was a little more like I don't know. I, Personally, I wish there was a little more passion to it, a little more like, oh, I really feel, I really care, I really want them to win. 
Mm-hmm. I feel like the 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 uh, the the uh, the odds are stacked against them. You know, mm-hmm. I, I I really want to feel that, and I just feel like it, I I don't I don't feel it. And uh and I I once again like they they you know uh, in that scene where John Candy's trying to stand up for his team, you know where they're like oh you know. Uh, we, we can't have them, you know, on the team. Uh, mm. It's more just like, once again, just like really, for me, basic, like, sort of racism, but not really. Mm. And it's, once again, it's more just like, well, once they watch them play, it's fine. <laughs> it's like, I, I, yeah. I don't know. Like, I feel like there'd be more struggle. Even if they were good, I feel like they would there should be like a struggle because of who they are. You know, I feel like that's what the movie's kind of trying to do with like a teeny tiny bit but it never like plays it right and it never like actually goes in there and more just like once again like the whole movie just kind of like touches on it like little grays but it never really I mean, but it never really like gets there i will say like i mean we do have i think uh yule brenner's character says like uh i, for, I forget the exact scene but i remember him saying like oh like people like don't like like things that are different he's like they'll hate you for because we're or they'll hate us because we're different and so i i think it does touch on it but i got i think what i'm i'm correct me if i'm wrong but i think what i'm hearing from you is like oh it's it's like has like good premise you know good ideas but it's not like enough right yeah and once again i'm not trying to like make this like you know i didn't want like this super serious movie or anything like that Mm. but i just wanted them to like touch on it more because if they did i feel like i would have cared more about the team you Mm. know what i mean like what where does the struggle lie where do the conflicts lie that could have made the the story more interesting in my opinion like oh will they win you know and i'll care you know like what are their struggles and like you know we have uh uh junior struggles with his father um and that's fine you know I, i i think that's a a decent arc for him but mm. you know we don't really have time to like feel it in my opinion or like really delve on it. like why is he scared of his dad like you know I, I, yeah you're 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 ready to fight me hunter <laughs> ooh, ooh, watch out oh he's landing ooh, he's landing a bang, punch bang. he's landing bang, a punch bang. baby watch out no only i'm only doing that because i love that that arc and i cried bro you when cried. i tell you i cried okay bro, bro when i tell you i cried Damn. I freaking cried at the end, which we'll get to when they're coming down the finish line and the dad rips open his shirt and shows like like Jamaica bobsled shirt or something like that. Bro, and his face, bro, I cried. I was like, oh my gosh, the acceptance and love from a father. Wow, that is beautiful. I hear you, Hunter. I really, really do. I'm so glad that you, you felt things in this movie (laughs) no i really am i'm jealous actually i'm very jealous um because i love feeling things i love crying in movies you know that i'm the i'm the crier you're the crier i'm the cry we're the criers we're the criers (laughs) uh so i'm glad you cried at least but uh (laughs) but um i i I, I just it just didn't feel earned to me is the is the problem i think like everyone starts clapping and everyone like the the germans start clapping like everyone is like just into it now by the end and and we'll get there uh later Mm -hmm. i think uh not too much later but um but yeah like i just don't feel like these moments are earned to me where it's like they're it it just kind of switches they're they love them now you know like uh, because uh yeah well, well you know so yeah basically like they're getting better they qualify and there's like the big game they mess up at first it, um and it seems like oh they're not gonna make it and then like the second day and they're doing a lot better um and then yeah like the announcers are like i don't know just like so into them now where it's like i don't feel like that's realistic and not to say like it has to be realistic i just didn't feel like the the turn was earned you know what i mean like i'm fine with like cheese and i'm fine with like a lightheartedness but it has to feel earned it has to feel like it just like it came from somewhere and for mm-hmm. them to yeah sure they did better but like i i feel like them just like wearing you know the announcers wearing a jamaican shirt and just like everyone's like so down and i see fist bumping hunter and i get it i feel that way too i just wish the movie was like here's like why everyone loves that and like i don't you know what i mean i don't know Ugh. I you know it's... like i i just don't it just doesn't feel earned like i i, I just feel like they just kind of switch to loving them now for whatever reason 
I think because everybody everybody loves an underdog story. And, and this, I mean, like, that's true. But like, I, I, I feel like I, I feel like the movie actually spends way too much time. Uh, uh, like the first half is all about like just getting there, right? Mm-hmm. Like just getting to Canada. And I yeah. feel like there's maybe a tighter version where like they get there maybe quicker. And then like a lot of the movie is about like proving these people wrong, you know, like, mm-hmm. Hey, we are worthy. We're equals. We'll show you. And I feel like they, they spend some, so much of the movie, like on the other stuff that when we get to the third act, that's when they're trying to like do that, that like story that, or that, that those story moments. And it, mm-hmm. and it feels like it's too late. I feel like, oh, we should have spent, like, the middle doing this stuff. And now we're doing it at the end? Interesting. I I think I might agree with that. I think it, it does. It, it's they, like Hercules. It. It's like Hercules, where, like, you know, Hercules in the middle has to prove to people, hey, I am a hero. And then he's famous, and then all this other crazy stuff happens in the movie later on. Disney's Hercules. Mm-hmm. Um, not, uh, <laughs> not real Hercules. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I could care less about real Hercules. All I care about is Disney Hercules. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, but you, you know what I mean. It's like a it's like a journey in that way that I that I feel like was a bit rushed. Yeah, I think I don't know because my only argument for that, because otherwise I think I might agree with you, is that the whole movie is kind of it's almost proving to themselves too. You know what I mean? Like it's proving to themselves. And then like, once they think they can do it, it's almost like, Oh, now we got to get like John Candy on board and see if he, and now, Oh, now we have him believing us. And then the third act is like, Oh, let's see like if we can get everybody to believe in us. You know what I mean? You're explaining it so well. I just didn't feel it, but, but I totally get, I totally get it though. Once again, I'm so jealous, dude. I'm so jealous. (laughs) I'm so jealous. We love this movie. (laughs) <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I, I totally see that. I just didn't see it. I, like I see oh, you, man. I see I almost... you, I see you explaining it well, mm-hmm. good job. <laughs> but I, I, that once again, just through my lens, I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't feel it. I don't, I don't even know why John Candy is into it. You know what I mean? Like I, I just, it, it just feels like we're getting to, to these like plot beats and plot moments and, and character moments without like earning it. I think that's my main issue with it. So, but you know, great, great. I'm glad Nick, you love it. Hunter. I'm so glad. Nick, Nick is calling out Disney right now to make a, a remake of cool runnings, you reboot fun- cool runnings. You know, you know that Disney was so proud of this. movie. Oh, Disney was so proud. Dude. Uh, also, <laughs> I, I read that this and was- not the shit on your opinion or anything, but like, in the context of like now like they they were like oh this is like like when when black panther came out they were probably like oh this is our next cool running <laughs> oh no that's fucked up that's fucked up <laughs> they're like oh just as good representation <laughs> Funny but fucked up. That's hilarious. <laughs> this is our next cool running. <laughs> this is our next cool running. Black Panther, just as good. That's so funny. That's hilarious. When you know Black Panther is so much better at not just like <laughs> representing black people, but also just like you know, See, like, I, I, like like I I you know not not to say Black Panther is like the most perfect movie or anything, but like that really shows like you know, yeah, like there, we are seen, we are here. We're just as, as important as everyone else. Mm -hmm. You know, Black Panther is an iconic superhero now. You know what I mean? Like he's, he's already at the likes of Iron Man and Captain America in one movie. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. But, and and not to say like cool running should have been a superhero movie, but, (laughs) but, but what I'm saying is like the importance of like really showing the black experience. Once again, I'm a white guy saying this. So like, take yeah. what I say with a grain of salt, but mm-hmm. like, you know, I, I, yeah, I feel like it was trying to do that, but I, it, it just felt slight to me. Yeah. Again, I'm, I could be wrong. Like, I think, I think that it does a, like a pretty good job, like, especially for like, I don't know, be, I don't, I wasn't alive. <laughs> so I don't really know like what came out and like, what was like, great representation or not you know what i mean so like 
but for me when i see this movie now it's like oh wow like if i saw this movie i'd be like oh i could i could do like oh the i could do anything you know what i mean that's i mean that's just my take on it i could be dead wrong no no you're you know that's and, totally right i mean like that's great with, that's great that that's great you know yeah especially like and with black panther like like somebody that's you know I don't know how to say this. We can edit this out if we want, but like, how should I say it? Like a person of color, right? Like being like, oh, I could be a superhero. You know what I mean? Right. And it's like, I, I feel like this movie kind of does a similar thing where it's like, oh, like, I mean, I don't know if I'd want to, but like, oh, wow. Like these guys from Jamaica could be on a bobsled team. Like that's was unheard of for that, you know, like yeah. before 1988 when it happened. So it's like, oh wow, like that's that's amazing. So I think that it does similar things. And my dumb that's fair. No, no, no. don't, don't, no, 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 don't back down on that opinion. Like, you know, stick with it. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah, I'm. I see pride. I see power. Yes. <laughs> I see a bad mother that don't take no crap off of nobody. Exactly. There you go. No, I think the, that's so well said, Hunter. I mm -hmm. yeah, we, we just have different opinions, but that's great that. Mm -hmm. You, you see that, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's awesome. And uh, also we love, we love to see different opinions. We, we love, love to see it. See it. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, we're, we're kind of winding down, you know, a uh, junior stands up to his father, uh, a junior and uh, what, what's, what's the other guy, the bald guy, scary guy. Uh, Yul Brenner. Yeah. So they're, they're kind of bonding and that's cute. I, I actually, that's some of my, some of my favorite stuff of the movie is that um, I, I think that's some of the only like stuff like, like character stuff with them it, like i wanted a little more from like Darice and 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 everything not necessarily uh what was it? what's his name shanka uh sanka sanka sorry um yeah. sanka uh you know that's fine that he's just you know along for the ride that's totally fine but like i think that was an interesting story with junior and his father i didn't really feel anything but i did but i did feel a little bit when uh once he stands up to his father and the other guy's there and he's like, you're a bad mother or whatever, you know, no, that, that sounds wrong. You know what I mean? You're a bad mother. <laughs> you're a bad yeah, yeah, mother. Like you're, you're a badass mother. Yeah. <laughs> you're a bad mother. Which is, you're, you're a terrible mother. What? <laughs> huh? Huh? I'm the son. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I like, um, I like all that stuff. So I thought I'm, that I'm was happy. cute, and I think it. I think it, a lot of it has to do with the, the score in that moment. It's like a really cute, like yeah. you know, you know the uh, uh, score moment. You know, it's like really warm and it makes you feel good. And so that was one of the few times I was like, oh, that's okay, that's cute. Like you know, mm -hmm. like okay, like the, they're they're bonding a little bit. You know, like he he supports his friend standing up to his father. So that once again, I'm not saying like this movie is devoid of like feeling or or or. Uh, warmth or mm -hmm. like ability but I, I i think it's just sporadic for me when i wanted it to be like the whole thing i wanted i wanted it to be like the ted lasso of of uh, <laughs> of, 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 of uh of uh of uh i don't know i i or, or a ted lasso uh experience or or like a the the ted lasso of uh of of J jamaican of a jamaican you know what bobsled team that's actually a very good idea for them to do like a like a, a mini series on on this story. I think that um They should remake I think, it. I yeah. I think like now like that'd be brilliant. I, I think like, yeah. you know, like doing like maybe like six to eight episodes at kinda like you know, Ted Lasso esque, you know, kind of a show, you know. I but for, you know, a, 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 for people of color, like I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, and Jason Sudeikis can play the coach. Yeah, exactly. He he's still Ted Lasso. Yeah, he's Ted Lasso. It's just, it's just it's Ted Lasso season season three, the prequel. Right. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, so we get these final moments where John Candy, you know, so we we figure out that he cheated years ago. Mm. Um, because yeah, let's focus more on John Candy right now yeah. um so yeah um we we kind of figure out that like yeah we see these scenes where you know he's trying to you know because he's so driven he's like okay we got to get them to win like we'll get a bobsled we'll, i'll talk to these people we'll do this and that and then we learn like oh yeah like he cheated years ago 
and like he he got his um, trophies taken away. He you know uh, he he was he was an embarrassment to the you know country and and everything, and and we kind of get a scene later with him and Doris about like why'd you cheat? And he was like I really wanted to win. That's why I cheated. Um, and, uh, and he, he kind of says something to Doris, like, you know, like, uh, uh, you, you, you can probably explain it better than me. Yeah. So, um, he, ba that scene, he basically says like, I made winning my life. And when you make winning your life, you have to keep winning. And so ba basically to the point where it's like, oh, winning, winning, like is everything, but it's not like the only thing don't only focus on that you know it's it's kind of the journey and uh stuff like that is what is what i i took yeah. from that conversation no and that's totally what they're talking about you know mm -hmm. it's like you know great if you win great but like what it what it's really about is like getting through the finish line and saying you did it and everything mm -hmm. and, and working together as a team which is cute you know i get it yeah. <laughs> nick you're like you're like yeah, well, it's, you know, whatever. I fucking hated that scene, but, you know. <laughs> you know, worst, worst cinematic scene of all time, I think. Oh, but, uh, um, but yeah, no, no, I mean, like, yeah, sure, together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, working together. Is, you know, is working together. Thing. Winning's not the only thing. It's Yeah, winning, winning's not everything. Yeah, fucking whatever. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I've heard it. I've heard that shtick all before, okay? It's yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, it's wrong. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Uh, no, I mean, that stuff is cute. And once again, it's a very inoffensive movie. I, I, it's not as bad as something like Flash. Flash? Flash. <laughs> Flash. Oh my God, my brain is somewhere else. Flash. Um, you know, like, it, it's, it's, it all, you know, you can't hate it, but I, I you know, I, and I, I don't know, to me, like, it's so clearly, like, show, like, oh yeah, they're not going to win. Like, yeah, that scene was there because they're not going to win. Okay, cool. Got it. Great. Great. Um. So, <laughs> so they, you know, you're so terrible. <laughs> that scene so, was only there because they don't win. If they win, John Candy would have said, "Winning is everything." <laughs> Stay winning. <laughs> Stay winning, Denise. Oh man. Denise. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Denise. Denise, Denise Richards. Denise. Denise. Stay winning, Denise. <laughs> oh God. All right. Anyway, so we get the final scene where it's like the final round. They don't, they don't mess up because of them. Like it's really the bobsled that that messes them up, which is false. I read in in real life it was because they were going so fast that they they just lost control. Which uh, I I wish that was the case. I feel like that's a cheat. That's a fucking cheat. They, you know what I mean? Like it's a it's a softer blow. Like they lost, it but it wasn't really their fault. It's so yeah. stupid. That's stupid. I mean. I would again. I I like when movies stay close, you know, and like not to say that this isn't like a close version of what right, happened, right, but yeah, like yeah. I would have liked it if they if they stuck with like oh they lost control because it it would have made more sense because that that happened in their trial run, you know what I mean? It would have brought it back to where it's like hey, but and then do the ending still where they lift the bobsled up and do the thing because that would. I don't know. That would mean more. That would mean like, oh, like, it's our fault that we messed up. But you know what? We still got up. We still like. But it wasn't their kind of. It's kind of it like their fault. No, I know. But like in a in the oh, in real life. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like in real life, because they lost control of it. I think that that would have fit better. Right. You know? Oh, totally. Okay, so you agree with me? Sorry. Yes, 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 <laughs> I was yes, like prepared to like. No, no, no. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. Yeah, yeah. No. Because <laughs> it, it would have been like kind of how in Rocky where Sylvester Stallone is like, oh, it's not about how, 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 how hard you get. <laughs> Please, no, how hard. Ho, 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 you know, you know what I'm uh, saying. It's not like about it's not how hard. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it's not how hard you get hit. Or it's not how hard you it's hit. It's not how hard you hit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not how hard uh, you hit. It's about hard, how hard you get hit. Mm. And like, you get up or whatever that quote is. It would have been like that other than kind of the, 
how it's like a cheat, how you were saying. Yeah, but that's I mean, fine. Like, it's you know, cheat. and I get, once again, I get the message and I get that, like, yeah, like winning isn't everything. Yeah, whatever, winning isn't everything. Sure. But like, you know, uh, uh, but, you know, it, it is nice that like, yeah, they don't win, but they, they still have, but they still like work together and get to the finish line and, and they represent Jamaica. Like all that stuff, like, yeah, I totally like, I'm for that. It's cute. You know, it's a, it's a fine way to end this movie. I just, yeah, I just didn't really care. And I wish I did. That's, that's my review. <laughs> I wish you did too. Because like, I feel like, I don't know. You got to watch it again. We got to watch yeah. it together. Okay. okay. We got to watch it together. Like, and look, I, will... I, once again, I don't hate it. I just more like, yeah, no. I will when we watch it together. I will point out all of the things that you should like, and then you'll like them. And then I'll like them. Yeah, I'll show you my like that. <laughs> and then you'll show me full runnings. Yeah, I mean, one movie is better than the other. Cool yeah, malignant. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Wait, what? You, I, you said malignant too, right? No, but sure. <laughs> Wait, what? Anyway, uh, but, you know, like, once again, this is all cute. It's just, like, a little fluffy to me, like, where I, there's not a lot of substance to it, in my opinion. The, you know, the actor's doing a fine job, but I don't really see a lot of, like, personality through the performances or, or in the writing and anything. You know, like, I feel like, final thoughts now, and then we'll talk a little more about John Candy, but, mm -hmm. um, but, like, final thoughts now, like, you know, like, once again, perfectly inoffensive. If, if, you know, this is, you know, if, if, if this is a, you know, once again, like a, 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 a good representation for people and, and, you know, other people in the world, uh, either people of color or just anyone in the world, if they're like inspired by this movie, that's freaking awesome. I really wish I was inspired by it. If you were, that's awesome. Uh, but I, I, I feel like we've had better representation now mm. in, just in general in movies. Not just with Black Panther, but just like in general with like all kinds of people now. We've, we've had better representation directed and written by those people. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, the, through, we're seeing, we're, we're, we're seeing these movies now uh, with different experiences, different people by those people, you mm -hmm. know? And, 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 and so, and, and maybe it's a, a harsh critique you know, because this is Cool Runnings. I mean, this is... That is a very... Is, I was about to say, I was like, that is a very harsh critique. It is a little harsh. I'm not... Cool I'll, be, I'll be real. I'm be, You know, it's a bit harsh. I will give myself that. Um, mm. <laughs> but I, I, I think just even feel good, you know, just like feel good, lighthearted movies. I feel like we've had better versions of this movie, mm. you know? So I... Like four out of ten, not like atrocious. Oh, Hunter's mad. <laughs> He's having a heart attack. It, did you rate it the same as Splash or Splash? No, Lord? Splash is worse. Three. Okay. Splash did you rate it three. the same as is the Vietnam movie that we watched? What was that movie? Stripes. Yeah. Stripes. I gave like a six. I think. Oh. <laughs> that hurts me. I'm, I'm not sorry, gonna lie. I'm sorry. That stings a little. I'll get over it, Nick. I'll get over it. I know you will. Little... You're strong. <laughs> That's so fun. This is, yeah, this is, um, yeah, this is the farthest we've been in a, in one of our mini series on, uh, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like this movie. I think it's fun. It's a feel good movie that like, I feel like you could just like, I watched it yesterday afternoon. You could put it on in the afternoon and just like, Oh, this, this is nice. You know, it's not, it's not trying too hard, but it's also like, in my opinion, I think it has some great moments. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's all I can say. And I read this movie a nice, good, crisp, crisp. Yeah. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. 10 bobsleds out of 10 bobsleds. Bro, for what it is, I have to I have to take it for a 1993 All Disney. Right. I'm gonna be honest, Hunter. I did see your letterbox. I knew yep. you. I knew you gave this a five out of five. Yeah, bro. It's like I didn't want to say anything now or or, or uh, earlier, but now I can say yeah. I saw. Now you can you say love it. this movie, bro. Uh, yeah. For what it is, like 
it's not like i don't know what's like a great i'm like it's not like the godfather or like taxi driver <laughs> well you know what i mean like those movies are also uh, you know it's not the godfather no well, I, you know, I hear you no no no. sorry go yeah. ahead go ahead yeah like it's it, like those movies are also like 10 out of 10s probably you know uh well, you know what yeah, I mean. Probably. Like, probably not as cool as Cool Runnings, but yeah. not as. Yeah. But but for what it is, for like a <laughs> like a like a kids, nineteen ninety three movie, it's it's fun, it's good, and it's not it's not taking itself too seriously. Which some like in a movie like this, I I do enjoy that because there are movies that do that, and that's fine. But I don't know for what it is, ten out of ten. I can see your disagreement. No, but it's that's all right. okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm just, ex- you know, I'm just reacting in the moment. That's all. I didn't think. That's we'd... all. I'm just, I'm just doing what an actor does. I'm just, I'm in the moment. Ooh, Roy I'm Kent. gonna, I'm doing the Roy Kent growl. I, I didn't think we'd be this far. Yeah, I mean, like you know, we we usually have the same kind of taste when it comes to like lighthearted movies mm-hmm. like this. I think it's more just like I know that they could do better. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I love your takes. I love your takes. <laughs> I just know that they could uh they could have done better. <laughs> but you, you at least hear what I'm saying, right? Yes, of course. I I see your your uh your issues with it. And yeah. look, overall I will say it's just not as good as Malignant. All right, so let's talk about John Candy. Um, so, uh, yeah, so his performance, I, I personally think was just fine. I, I, I wasn't, you know, I'm not passionate, uh, one way or the other about his performance. So I probably have to put it somewhere in the middle. So like, you know, my favorite is playing strains automobiles. Uh, second, probably only, no, definitely only in the lonely. Um, Hmm. Uh, Stripes. Mm. This movie. Uh, Cool Runnings. And then... Is Splash the only one left? Uh, Uncle Buck? Did you rate that one? Oh yeah, uh, Uncle Buck, then Splash is dead last. Interesting. And you... You're gonna hate... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I already know, Hunter. I'm gonna... I know I'm gonna hate it. I mean, my number one is Cool Runnings. I'm gonna say it. Okay, wait. Say it. Please explain why you think this is John Candy's best performance over *Planes, Trains, and Automobiles*. I will. Please explain this to me. Similar, similar to his performance in *Only the Lonely*, he's not doing his uh, like John Candy, like oh, I'm the funny guy. You know, I think, and I think that this is the most far-fetched character that we see him play. Like he's a he's a disgruntled like uh, old like. Uh, Olympian that is like kind of washed up and angry with his life. And I think that he handles it. He handles it with grace uh, where he's, he's juggling like being funny, but also like, I don't know. I just, he's a, I don't know. I, I just, I really buy him as this character. I also buy him as a planes, trains and automobiles guy, but it's like, I think that's easy for him. I think it's I think it's easier for him to be to be funny, you know, and well, especially playing. He was such a easy, you know, easily funny person. Yes, no. But he also, I, but also in playing strings, he makes you cry, and I think that's hard. And I think that's true. that's very hard to do. Very he, true. He did that. He did both. Does he do that in Cool Runnings? Oh shit! Maybe you're cha- maybe I maybe I've I've reacted. Could, maybe quick. maybe you love the movie. Maybe you love Cool Runnings more than Plain Strings. Uh, but you know, what? I think that I think that might be what it is. I think I'm letting my eight year old self dictate uh, uh, my 22 year old body. Because mind. I, you know, not to, right. not to compare and contrast or anything, but like mm-hmm. Aladdin was my childhood movie. It was, even though it was very much up there, it, you know, yeah. for Robin Williams movies. Uh, my favorite in that miniseries was Fisher King. You're right. My, I think, I think, I, am, I know I'm right. <laughs> I think my eight, I am my right. Manna, I think my eight year old self is controlling my decisions right now. It's okay. In, you know, I it's, think it's, it's nice to meet eight year old Hunter right now. 
hey guys, uh, <laughs> cool, cool Runnings is the best. <laughs> All right, get him out of get him out of here. Get I don't him know. Out of here. I don't know why I uh, have a lisp. I never did. So I think my oh. first. All right, so I'm gonna okay. go down my final, my final list. I just edited it. I just edited it live for you guys. Ooh, just live. Fuck yeah. it. We're doing. We're doing it live. Fuck it. We're doing Fuck it live. It. Fuck it. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. All right. N- number one, planes, trains, and automobiles. Because you're right. He made me cry. He made me cry. I forget his uh, his dramatic chops in that movie as well. Second, I got to go Cool Runnings. Third, Only the Lonely. Four, Uncle Buck. Five, Splash. Six, Stripes. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Uh, That's fair. That's fair. It sucks, man. I, I will say I wanted to like Uncle Buck. Me too. I, I think I wanted, we both we both agree Uncle Buck is mid AF. Yeah, it is. It's like it's so mid. Yeah, and it, it's like a, it's I don't know. It's a decent I, 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 idea, I guess. But I guess, I guess. yeah, but also, I'm so happy that I watched uh, Planes Trains with, and also I discovered like a newfound love in Steve Martin as well in this mini series. Right. Yeah. So here we are. Next mini series. Steve Martin. Father of the Bride, cheaper by the dozen. Ooh. <laughs> Only murders in the building. Do you have you watched that show? No, Quick. not yet. Not yet. No. Uh, first few episodes are good. Selena Gomez is like, why, you know? But it's all right. It's good. You like it? Yeah. Cool. I'd recommend. It's funny. Cool. 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 Um. Cool. Yeah. So, final thoughts on on John Candy as a yeah. So what's interesting is like, you know, around this time, uh, as a person, he. He bought a football team. Did you know about this? I so, didn't. So um, he was a big sports guy, and he was the co-owner of the Toronto Argonauts, which is a Canadian, fo- which is a Canadian football team, as I, as, I, as I'm sure you know, Mister mm-hmm. <laughs> Canada boy. I know. I'm in. It's crazy. I'm recording a John mini series. And I'm in Canada right now. Look at me. <laughs> oh, wow, that's amazing. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, so he, he bought a football team just because he could. And, and and he managed it, or not managed it in that way, but like, you know, he you know, he was really passionate about like you know, he was really behind this, you know, and, and, and they actually won a championship when he when he was the owner. Uh oh, that's that's badass, right? <laughs> so that's like dreams right there. I w- like, that's amazing. Yeah. So like that was a, I'm sure a high of his life. Honestly, not just career or anything, just like big high of his life. Um, yeah. If not the biggest, because um, mm-hmm. that's so cool. That's so exciting. When he was filming Wagons East, he found out that the other owner. Uh, sold sold the team because they were losing money they i think they lost like three million something like that so it was like a it was a big it was a big uh blow uh financially mm-hmm. uh so you know all, all that's just like really tragic and so like yeah. when he found that out you know and then he died so it's like it's really hard yeah, to like terrible. to know you know if that's part of the reason or not i don't know but regardless, like that's a really, you know, tragic end to his life and everything, you know. Um, so yeah, I and I, you know, I I think now we just have to, you know, thank John Candy for when he was here, you know, and and, and his work, his body of work is really fun, really, really passionate, really likable, really funny, you know. And there's so many other things he did that we didn't even touch on. You know his his work on SCTV is iconic. Mm-hmm. You know there, he 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 makes so many he made so many appearances in other movies that we didn't touch on, like um, National Lampoon, a uh, 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 summer vacation, mm-hmm. and and you know he shows up in Home Alone, he shows up in Blues Brothers, like he shows up in these other movies too, and he stands out. You know and yeah he's, yeah yeah he he shows up in uh, JFK. Too, that movie with uh, Kevin Costner, I think, um, mm, yeah. which I haven't seen, but I, I would be interested. In, I probably would recommend checking that out, too, because I think that's a that's just like a jump, 
you know, that I think is worth mentioning. Totally. I'm glad you mentioned it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. So great performer, great man. Uh, John Candy, you will be missed. And it was really nice to do this mini series with you, Hunter. As always, Nick, as always. It's always a, <laughs> a pleasure, a light of my life right now in, this, in these crazy times. Um, yeah. And, and uh, do we want to tease what our next miniseries is? Oh, yeah. I need a podcast of Spider-Man. We're doing Spider-Man. That's our next miniseries. We're doing all the major theatrical released Spider-Man movies. Uh, and uh, so we're, we'll, we'll be doing the Sam Raimi, Tobey Maguire movies. We're going to do the Andrew Garfield movies. We're going to do the Tom Holland movies. We're going to do Spider-Verse. We're going to do all the movies. Uh, so that's going to be so fun. We're going to do it uh, together, finally. Uh, but see, this whole time, we've been doing this remote uh, via Zoom. Yeah, COVID. COVID's a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm excited. This will be the first time that we will be doing NYC Actors Talk film together in the same room. Exciting. So, that's me doing the Spider-Man thing, you know, the flip, flip, flip. Anyway, uh, join us for that uh, in, the, in, a, in the coming months in the, uh, for the rest of the year. That's what we're going to do. So we'll keep you guys updated with that. Uh, thank you guys for listening to our last episode of NYC Actors Talk, John Candy. This whole podcast is named NYC Actors Talk Film. That's our whole podcast. Uh, you can listen to the rest of our John Candy episodes right here, wherever you're listening to podcasts. We're on Spotify, we're on Apple Podcasts, we're anywhere you listen to podcasts. So listen to the, the other John Candy episodes if you haven't. Listen to our Robin Williams miniseries if you haven't. That was, that was still like just so, like that was peak us for i mean you know uh, uh spider-man and all that like that's gonna be amazing but like that was robin williams that was like a blast yeah the robin williams one i mean we did so many mo- we did like 17 of robin we did williams. like 15 or so movies yeah yeah crazy but yeah that was that was peak us uh as of uh, so so far yeah <laughs> that's the best day of my life the best day of your life so far mm. Uh, so yeah, uh, so stay tuned uh, for future episodes and, and, and listen to our old ones. Uh, we also did like a Lost series last year. So if you like Lost and you want to hear us talk about Lost, well, <laughs> today's, your lucky, lost. <laughs> today's your lucky day. Uh, uh, and you're, you, you were lost and now you're found. You're welcome. Uh, so, uh, we have a website, NYC Actors Talk Film. We have an Instagram, at NYC Actors Talk Film. Uh, we have a Facebook page. We have some people to thank. Uh, Joseph Dalton, thank you very much for the amazing artwork. Uh, he's incredible, and he always will be. I uh, love, love him and his artwork. Um, you will meet him someday, Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say... <laughs> Uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, is there anything else to say? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, you're still here? It's over. What? Are, what are you doing? Go, go Get home. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. We've ended it. Go home. Credits are rolling. Go. Go home.